can move through solid objects like walls and doors. How can I teach my dog this skill so I don't have to let him out? Laziness! Sure! That's what being a ninja is all about! Sarcasm! That being said, teaching your dog ninja skills is fine! As long as you realize that once you do, he is no longer man's best friend. Canine ninjas or caninjas are serious business. I had a friend who taught his dog how to use hyper ninja speed like... Ripped his arms right out of his socket. And that was a poodle. Didn't think about the ramifications on that one. Life lesson. And I'm just saying this because shirking your responsibility seems to be your main goal. So I have no doubt that once you teach your dog this skill, he'll have no use for you and he'll probably eat your head. Focus is a big problem with the Rin Tin Tinjas. Dogs get distracted very easily. So if Benja is halfway through a wall and he forgets where he was going, you're going to have a hard time explaining to your book club why Scooby Death is sticking halfway through your front door. Here's another sock to the brainium. Just because you teach him the skill doesn't mean that you control how he uses it. I had another buddy of mine. He taught his dog how to be a master of disguise. Dog ran away. Three years later, he found out his longtime girlfriend was actually his dog. Yeah, That'll mess you up. Talk about counseling. I don't think you're going to find that one on Dr. Phil. So just don't be surprised if he starts using that thing all over the place. He'll walk through any wall in the house. So places that used to be private moments or closed door situations, well, they're now going to have one more cold nose and a little bit more panting. Thanks for the question. Your Keninja looks forward to killing you soon. Roo, 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 roo.